the Wardy's works again. First trick say comes into play. And here is the anti roll bar and ace ram. So uh, we're going to undo this, we're going to have a look inside it and see what's involved in putting this onto the car to get rid of our ace leak. So what we've got here is the ace system. Um, this is the ram that sits on the side of the car. Then that's your anti roll bar. You'd have a bush there and a bush there connected under the car. Um, so you can see it's a pretty hefty unit. Now on ours, it's leaking from here. This one has got a split boot on it, like they all have. Um, so we'll we'll sort something out with a a boot on there uh, or a cover of some sort, just to stop the crap getting in. Um, then we'll give this a little paint before we put it on. We'll be down and give it a quick blast of black and then um, we'll have a look at putting it on the car. Seems to be pretty sick off. Rod there, rod over there, connected to the axle um, and two bushes and then we've got to put the two um, houses on there. Now I've heard that you have to run it through some cycle to bleed the system. Um, I'm hoping we haven't got to do that. I'm going to clamp the houses off, try and keep as much fluid as I can in there. And hopefully the pump will pump it round and get all the air out of there. But, uh, we'll see how that goes in a bit. I'll come back to the Disco 2 TD5. Uh, this is our project one that we're doing at the moment. And we've got a leak on the ice on the ram there, the ice ram. So what I've done so far is I've took the two pipes off there. Now they come off with a 17 mil and they've got washers on so make sure you don't lose them but you probably will have to replace the washers. That's in there. So I took them off first and um, before I did that I clamped them. Um, not too tight but clamped them so they wouldn't run out uh, with the um, grips there because I haven't got any clamps so I've used them and then off comes this piece which connects the anti-roll bar to the axle um, absolute nightmare I've had to do 99% of the way with the uh, breaker bar but I found the easiest way to do it this is a 17mm at the bottom there it's got two flats on it so jam the spanner up the back of the turret there and onto that because it was so tight for me when I was trying to hold the spanner I couldn't hold it and while it was on here it kept flicking off so I've put it on there and now it's jammed against the back so I can actually undo it so that's what's happening at the moment we'll get that off and we'll go from there so we've got that side all the way off and what we're doing now is around the other side we have got that one to get off there so we're gonna wire the brush, wire brush the top of it just try and clean the threads a little bit because that's what stops on the other one dirty threads are stopping us getting it on the so we're cleaning the threads like that and then, what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to loosen this off and give it a spray there. I have to give it a spray there, yeah. See how easy this one comes off. It's a 19 on the socket. And same as the other one, the whole thing's turning, you can see. At the bottom there, this is turning as well, so we're going to do the same thing, we're going to jam the spanner around somewhere, see if we can get it to uh, release. So we've got 17mm, and there's two flats on this. So we just turn it around until it engages and then what we're going to do is, uh, it's 
up against the turret. And then backwards and forwards. And hopefully, this one's going to be easier than the one. They tend to start going easy. And then get on top of the thread. Okay, so didn't have to use the breaker ball, okay? Just a bit of brute force on this. Keep going, it's getting a little tiny towards the top. And there it is. So that's off as well. And then the next step is underneath the car, we need to take off uh, the two bushes for the anti roll bar, so I'll show you them. Alright, we're just getting on the next one, let's clean the car up. Pissing down as usual. It's in there. And They've got one there, one over there. So, what size are they? They are the 13 mil. So, we're going to see if they're going to get them off. What we've got here. This will go on the gun. And that's not an impact socket, but it's all I've got at the moment. She's going to work me. And that pop that is. Lovely. Let's try the other side. Connected so it doesn't um, fall on the head. Oh, that's that one yet. So now I just need to get a little lever in there and pop them brackets out. Right, we've just got the um, bushes on down at the bottom of the um, ace anti roll bar and then we're just tightening onto the top of the ball joints of the rods that connect to the axle so 17 mil spanner there was a video of me earlier taking these off and you see how old it was to get them off so this is 17 mil spanner to hold the ball joint on the two flats and then 19 mil on the top um, easy enough to get the um, bushes it in <laughs> under there on the anti roll bar Oh, you think you see well, two D bushes in there, nice and easy. And then we'll come around this side and we'll also tighten that one with the 17 mil spanner and the 19, and then that should be the ace sorted out once the pipes are on. 